Yo, this is Ciroc. I just jumped off the porch of Dirty Glove Bastard. I swear none of them is kidding me. No. I can't wait the day he bite the dust. Nigga in this gringo ripen up. Only that drink will hype you up. All right, so we got the one and only Ciroc jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. Yo, yo, what's up, buddy? I'm feeling great. How about yourself today, I'm man? Good. Yeah. Welcome, bro. Yeah. Appreciate but, you pulling up on us today, too, man. I appreciate you. First real interview. There you go, man. Mm -hmm. Got to do it on the porch, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So first off, how you feeling today, too, man? I've been good. Everything been cool. Okay. Moving around. Yeah. What yeah. else you got planned while you're here in Atlanta, or what else have you been doing since you touched down, man? Um, I came yesterday, so I ain't really do nothing, but uh, I got a, a release party tonight. Okay. Yeah. At, um, yeah. I think like two of them for uh, one uh, like a regular night and then one for uh, after party. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How excited are you for that then, man? That's cool. That's cool. I don't be caring about the clubs like that, though. For real? Know, like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't really into it. You more of a homebody then, or? Yeah, but instead of going to the club, I'd rather do something like, I feel like you can't like interact with people in the club. Nah, that's and, true. The music be so loud and everything, yeah, so much yeah. going on. I dig that, man. I ain't a much of a club person myself anymore nah, these hell days nah. either, man. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. And do you come down to Atlanta pretty often or not too much? Yeah, hell yeah. I've been, I've been out here probably every couple of weeks. I've been down here. Oh, for real? Yeah, hell okay. yeah. I'm looking for a spot to really move out here. There yeah. you go, man. Mm -hmm. I tell everyone, man, if you're doing this music shit, Atlanta's the place to be, man. Yeah, you gotta be out here. Yeah. How do you like the vibes here and how does it compare to back at home in the, you know, in the DMV, man? Um, it's cool. It's more like mixy. People engage with each other more out here. And it's more like, money and rotation you feel me when it comes to like the culture oh yeah I feel like back home it's not as much of it and it's more separate like yeah people nice. aren't as like in cahoots with each other as they are out here no nah, it's like the real scene like really black hollywood oh yeah that's what they call it man for sure yeah and what part of the dmv are you from man? i'm from maryland uh prince george's county maryland and i'm from virginia too i lived in both but i, mean, I lived in maryland longer but okay i'm from both yeah, Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, PG, Maryland. Okay, so mm -hmm. you kind of grew up in between the two? Mm hmm Okay, like, what, why were you moving around a lot? Like, mom's in one place, dad in one spot, or? No, 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 we just ended up moving. Um, we moved to Virginia once my, uh, like, my parents had, like, a cool, my dad got, like, a better job. Okay. So we ended up um, moving once he started making more money, but then, she got rocky, we ended up moving back, so. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one did you prefer living in then? Um, at first Maryland, but then once I went down to Virginia, I like, I like Virginia too. So really both. Okay. They're both like extremely different. How so? Break that down for us. I've never been up there, man. So break it down for us. Um, Maryland was like completely black. You feel me? There was no, like no other races I was really like mixing with. But once I got to Virginia, it was more just different kind of people I was meeting. So yeah, I like the, I like like the whole, like the mixing bowl type. Type vibe. Uh, okay. Shit cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what were you into as a kid? Like, what were some of your hobbies? Hobbies. Um. Regular kid shit. I like to play the game. Um. Uh, I was boxing. I had boxed since I was like in middle school. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You still boxing today then, or? Uh, not actively, but shit, I still. <laughs> still yeah, nice with the hands, yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's alright. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> what had got you into boxing at first then? Um. We used to we used to box every Friday, like when I was in middle school. So like a couple of us went, we put our little money together, and we went and we got some gloves. So like anytime niggas had some on their chest, we just go. Oh, for real? Yeah, every Friday there was like a thing we was doing. And then um, one time my man's mom told my mom like, "Yo, I don't really want them doing this." Boom, 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 because somebody got hurt a little bit. <laughs> and then um, my dad knew a trainer, so I just started going. Oh, for real? Like actually boxing, yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I think you enjoyed that shit then, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause I ain't, I ain't really played sports before that. For real? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. When would you say you jumped off the porch, how old were you? Uh, jumped off the porch. I caught a charge, I guess, when I was 12. Like I was on probation and shit. Oh shit. But I guess, I, I say like 15, I guess. Yeah, I say around 15, the age of 15. But, cause the shit when I was a kid, I was like, regular like fighting it wasn't no oh, okay yeah yeah what would you say were like the circumstances that led to you jumping off the porch at 15 then um shit just want some money I, I wasn't i was never on no like super tough shit 
Um, I was seeing people like driving and being able to buy clothes, and I wanted to, I wanted to be able to box and I wanted to be able to get money. So, yeah. you know, had to go outside. Okay. Uh, did you go to college after school? For like two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why only two weeks? I don't know. I didn't know what college was like, so I wanted to like see it. But then once I went, I was like, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and my parents was going through like a whole bunch of like financial problems, so I didn't want to go. Yeah, I was like, it's dumb. There's no point. I feel like I get ahead in them, in them years versus not going. I mean, versus going. Okay. Mm -hmm. What college were you going to? Just like a community college? It was a community or? college, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like community college probably just like high school. It just felt extended. like high school, yeah. I went in there, they started giving, like, it felt like another addition to high school. So I was like, I'm out of here. I just hit them for my refund. Yeah. <laughs> so you got that first refund then, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hear that a lot, man. It was like, man, they get that first one during the first semester. That's yeah, it, yeah, I was out of there. Yeah, out of there. <laughs> it was no. I was doing it for my mom, so yeah, not, yeah it was no point in doing it. So, what's her reaction when you dropped out after that first uh, two weeks? Then? Um, they was going through so much that like they really didn't care. For real? Yeah, like we was like in the process of like losing our house and all that shit. Oh, so, shit. she she ain't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And did I hear right? Like you were involved in a high-speed chase here in Atlanta at one point too? Uh, no, 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 no. They, I, I seen, I seen they end up posting that shit. I think, I think they did that shit for just, uh, like some clickbait type shit. Nah, we, we had, uh, we had crashed the car and then they ended up turning it into something like bigger than what it was. Yeah. What, like the blogs turned it into some mm -hmm. shit? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. You was all right in the crash though. Yeah, hell yeah, that, was, that, that crash, I probably, like, it probably hurt the most out of any, like, accident I've been in, but, um, yeah, yeah, and I was good, I was ended up straight, yeah. I had, like, I got a bruised rib, I had, like, a little bit of nerve damage, but I was straight. Okay. I ain't, like, break nothing, you feel me? Blessed with that shit, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. So what would you say are, like, some other trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far, man? Um, Watching my parents like go through having money and not having money was kind of like a real like eye opener, you know. Um, but like we ended up losing our house. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like uh, at one point we were like sleeping in our cars and shit. Oh damn. Yeah. Um, that was probably the hardest, hardest uh, situation of like not having like a home. I go like shower at like people's cribs and shit, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, I go like McDonald's and shit to just like grab something to use the Wi-Fi and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's probably like the hardest. Yeah, I can imagine kind of make you just, you know, not take shit for granted anymore after that shit too. Yeah, hell yeah. And you just know like anything that you have could be gone at any time, you know? Like, you can't ever think anything's forever. Yeah. Yeah, good or bad, you know? Not real shit. Man. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So, uh, going to the music, how long you been at this shit now, man? Since 2019, so was that five, six years? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what had inspired you or motivated you back then to try out this shit then? Um, really, I didn't want to rap. I wanted my man to rap, like my right hand man. I, I was telling him to rap, and I was trying to box. So I was like, man, you rap, I want to be the rapper's friend. You <laughs> feel me? Yeah, so I wanted to like experience all the shit that rappers was doing as far as like the tour and all that, but I was like, man, I wanted him to rap. And then uh, we had took like a trip to Miami and that shit was like, I don't know, it was super just exciting. I was like, man, I gotta do something like now to like hmm. make shit lit. So I just made a song after. And then, oh shit. Yeah. Just the spur of the moment. Just yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And then a lot of my friends were rapping, but I was trying to get like my closest friend to rap because I was like, like who else I'm gonna be with, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he ever end up rapping at all? Nah, or? hell no, nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. But if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be rapping just because when I made the song, I sent it to him. And I was like, what you think? I didn't like it. But he was like, nah, I think this song's hard, woo woo, like whatever, whatever. So I ended up like, yeah, just kept going. Oh shit. Yeah, hell yeah. So walk us through like that first time making a the song then, man. Like, was you, did you know what you were doing? Were you nervous hell at all? Hell nah, or? hell nah. Um, I was in there with somebody, so they was like walking me through like, oh, make a hook, make a verse, and then make another hook. I mean, not another hook, but just like, you know, it'll it go over again. But um, first I, uh, I was like writing it while I was in the studio and I would like say parts of it and I was just going back and forth like that. But yeah, it, it was smooth. It took longer than I, I thought it was going to take. Like, you know how, you don't know how things are till you get like behind the scenes, you mm -hmm. feel me? So 
it was like one of them type of situations. It was like eye opener. Yeah. Yeah. And what'd you think of the song when you first got done with it? I like, thought it was bullshit. I think it sucked. <laughs> I ain't like my voice. Yeah. I thought my voice was trash. So I was like, man, this is doo doo. So I thought when I sent, I, I thought when I sent it to my bro, he was gonna be like, bro, this is trash. Like, don't ever even like you feel me. So he was like, you fuck with it. So hmm. yeah, I just tried again. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Did you ever end up dropping that first song? Yeah, hell yeah. That was the first song. Yeah, I, I made it and I just dropped it. Oh, and that's yeah. called Backbone, right? Nah, hell nah. Okay. It was a song called Vacay. It was on YouTube. It was on uh, SoundCloud. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, Backbone was like my first, like, uh... Video, right? Like, video, Apple Music, and all that. But I dropped it on, on SoundCloud. I, I saw, like, a good reaction from it. People were, like, okay. following me from it. So then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna drop more. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Would you say you started taking it serious right then and there, then? Or did that come later on? Um, I started taking it serious when I dropped Backbone. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. Once I seen the reaction from it, I was like, oh, all right, bet people like this shit a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you remember the studio session for Backbone then? Uh, yeah, hell, mm, barely, because you don't go into a song thinking like, oh, this is about to be a hit today, you feel me? Like, I was just, I just went in there, recorded, and then I liked that at the end, so I was like, shit, let's just shoot a video and just do it like that, yeah. yeah. But now, nah, hell yeah. It looked like you got great feedback from Backbone. Uh, yeah, 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 for the first too. video. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Nah, yeah. that shit went smooth. Yeah. I didn't know like which way I wanted to go with the, like, with the music, you know? So I was just, once I made that song, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna stick to this like lane a little bit. Okay. Mm. And it, I think it's like over 75,000 views yeah, on yeah, YouTube yeah. right now. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Did it take off right away or was it a slow buildup or? Nah, uh, it was more right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw you ended up touring with Glock and Dolph, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that was smooth. That was smooth. How did that situation come about, man? Um, somebody I knew knew their DJ, and then they just put it together. Oh, sure. and, and they 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 showed love and looked out, you know. Hmm. Yeah, that shit was cool. That wasn't my first situation like that, but um, cause right before I had one on tour. But so that was like my second one. But but that shit was smooth. It was just a different like um, experience. I never like I didn't even know that many people. Like I don't want to sound crazy, but I didn't even know that many white people would be at like <laughs> their shows. You feel me? Like it was all. It was a lot of white people. It was a lot of like different kind of people. That shit was lit. Yeah. That shit was cool. It was like a real eye opening experience. Yeah. You said that was the second situation. What was yeah. the first situation? The then? first time I went on tour with uh, with Wale. Oh yeah. shit! Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, was, that was like my first time like performing and everything. That was cool. Yeah. Okay. How did that you know situation come about for you? Like? Um, somebody I knew knew their camp, and then his cousin used to box with me. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. And then so everybody just put that together. But his cousin ended up passing, so like them knowing I was cool, his cousin had passed. Like it was, you feel me? It was just yeah, it was cool. How did those first few shows go? Then, like you said, this is your first time performing and everything, man. I was nervous, but not as nervous as as is boxing or nothing just because like with music like your music's playing in the background like it's hard to really really fuck up unless you like trip or fall on the floor you <laughs> feel me like yeah i feel like with boxing like you going in the same thing by yourself but like somebody trying to knock your head off you feel me so it's a whole different dynamic yeah i guess going from boxing into music is probably a lot easier yeah, like you said yeah. man you easier can kill boxing you know yeah, what I'm easier saying? in a sense because with sports you could show a direct number, like I scored this much, or I did, I won this many times, you feel me? Music is more opinionated, so yeah. you could have the worst song ever, but that bitch could go all the way viral and be lit, you feel me? And then you could have the best song ever and it still don't get all the numbers that like you would think it's supposed to get. You know? yeah. So, yeah. Not real shit. So it's hard, like music is hard in that sense. Yeah. That like you really gotta like put yourself out there and just keep really like trying till something pop. Yeah. Uh, you dropped that song Slide and Giuseppe, man. That shit went yeah, crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. That was, yeah. No, hell yeah. That was um, my first song that had got, like, that many numbers. That's when I started seeing, like, more change in, like, my career as far as, like, who I was around, what I was around, and all that, yeah. Did you expect that type of reaction when you put it out? Yeah, I did. I ain't gonna lie, I did. I did. Not as much to what it was, but I did. I, I did feel like people were gonna gravitate towards it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so you opened up for Dirk also, right? 
Uh, I was supposed to, but I didn't. I didn't end up doing it. Yeah, 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 I didn't. Some, some bullshit happened in the back, and uh, yeah, we couldn't. We, we it ended up happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you put out the song Tremendous last year. You and yeah. these man, this shit's yeah, still yeah, going yeah, up. Yeah. I feel like. Nah, too. hell yeah, hell yeah. It's, it's starting to catch more now on TikTok, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. And and it was at a time where, where V's wasn't where he was at now, so mm-hmm. it was it was like a cool, it was a cool move. So how did that connection happen? Was that something where you just reached out to V's for it, or? Um, so I heard they was in town, and they was going to the store that uh, one of my mans worked at. So he ended up putting it together, and uh, there was like somebody in the middle that was kind of like making the situation. Like at first we wasn't fucking with it, but then um, bro ended up like DMing one of my mans, and then we just ended up working it out. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you was fucking with his music at that time too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I ain't know too, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna like make it seem like I was like a super, what's it called? It was more on some shit like, I felt like shit was going up. It was more of a business movie, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all get in the studio together to create that or was it you just sent over an open verse for him? I, I sent an open verse but I was there when he did it. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So what was that experience like getting in the studio with him then? No, it was cool. It was cool. I, I don't. I haven't. I don't really be recording with too many people. I, I don't be in too many like other people's sessions. So it was cool to see how you record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all shot the video right then and there, or did that come? The later? the next day we shot the video the okay. next day. Yeah. Yeah. So you get done with the video. How you feeling about this song, man? You feel like it's, it's gonna be the one to take off for you, or? Uh, yes and no. Like you know how just being your own critic, you are gonna feel like right around the time we are supposed to drop something, you'll feel like damn, like is it gonna do well? Is it not? But uh, when I put it out, I felt like it, it was doing well. It was just a lot going on in that time to where, like, I wasn't focused too much on music. So I feel like now everything is like different and more like a different thing. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, so what is your creative process? Do you write? Do you just punch in? Do both? Or nah, I punch in. I punch in. I want to start writing though. I want to get used to doing that. Yeah, but I definitely punch in. Why do you say you want to start writing then? Um, Cause I feel like. Just certain times when you punch in, you could come to the studio and be stuck, and then you'll waste all that time, you're wasting all that money. Um, but with the writing, it's just a different dynamic, you feel me? It's a lot of people that make great music that write, so why wouldn't I want to write? I mm-hmm. think about it. Yeah. And when do you feel like you make your best music then? It's like when you're in a good mood, or you're going through some real shit, or you're pissed off at someone? Or? Mm, probably when I'm going through something, but at the same time, I can't say that because slide, I wasn't, it wasn't like I was there. It's not an emotional side, you feel me? So I don't think there's no like exact time where I can say, oh, this is when I make my best work. I just feel like whenever I have, whenever I can make a lot of time for the studio is when I make my best work. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what inspires you today to keep creating? Um, I like how much the people, like, I like to see how the, mu- how the uh, music moves people. I like to see like how it really inspires them. I wanna. I like the whole aspect of creating some and seeing how people really take it in, whether they take it in a whole different way than you expected them to take it. You know, I like to see how certain people, whether it makes them cry, whether it makes them happy, whether it makes them, you know, I like to see how like it, it really like moves people. That's like the most uh, thing that keeps me going when it comes to the music. Okay. Yeah. And when you're performing, what song get, usually gets the best reaction out of the crowd then? Um, so I say Sly and Giuseppe and Drown the Pints. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, Drown the Pints was like the second single I put out, and that was the first time I seen like a cool like growth in numbers too, where yeah, it was steady. Like that song still streams a lot. Yeah, I was going to say the numbers on that one still looking pretty good. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It still, it still streams like I just dropped it. It's like still one of my like top 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So what can you tell us about this new single, Bite the Dust, man? Bite the Dust. It's my uh, first single back in a couple of months. Um, you know, just me getting my feet back wet, getting you know, getting back started. Mm. Was there a reason you took like a hiatus from dropping music then? Or? Uh, like I said, it was just a lot going on last year, bro. You know, I was just dealing with a whole bunch of real life shit. So, yeah. And what was your mind frame when you made uh, Bite the Dust? Was that something you've been sitting on for a while, or is that something brand new you just recorded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting on it for a little minute. I probably made it like almost two years ago, I been made that song, yeah, hell yeah, but I was just having fun. I was kicking back in the studio, just having fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I see you be previewing a couple other new songs on your IG. Bro. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Got to see what the people like. Yeah. yeah. What are the fans saying about those two? Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of engagement right now. People are really fucking with what's going on. Um, I feel like super grateful and just super appreciative that like people are like supporting right now. You know, I got like I got a really good team behind me right now too. And yeah, I feel like it's just a matter of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the next single, next video is going to be? Are you sitting on something ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Chandeliers. It's about to come out. Okay. Um, it's out already, but the video ain't dropped, so okay. it should be out in a couple of days. Yeah. What type of vibe is that song on? Um, it's just some some chill, get money, just some player shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a new project in the works, or are you kind yeah, of focused yeah, on? Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Projects are already in the works. I got a couple projects really in the tuck, but we just rolling out singles for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what should fans expect from this new music then? Um, shit, just more elevation, you know, better lyrics, um, better melodies, just, you know, just improvement yeah. all around the board, yeah. How would, you, how would you describe your growth as an artist, you know, from 2019 up until today then? Mm. I think everything just sharpened up, you know, just, just the whole nine. I feel like I'm naturally good at making music, so I feel like just me honing, on, honing in on it more, it just, you know, I feel like I'm just a super talented artist. I feel like it's really going to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who's some of the producers you've been working with lately? Uh, producers, I don't, so a lot of times I get my beats online. Okay. YouTube, shout out YouTube. It's like, nah, but uh, the one, pro Two producers I worked with that like on some like real life uh, was Hoodrich King, fuck okay. with bro, yeah hell yeah, and then um, AJ Room, my record, he a good producer, both of them. Okay. Mm. Any features you've been working with lately, or you kind of just been cooking up by yourself? Um yeah, just cooking up by myself. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't had um, I ain't been doing features like that. Is there any uh, like dream collabs you want to you know work on in the future? Uh shit, I want to work with Lil Wayne. I want Wayne to just, you feel me, go, go crazy on the verse for me one time. Yeah. He's still the GOAT after all Yeah, hell yeah, that's my favorite rapper ever. I think, he's, he's, yeah, that's the best artist. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts on the music scene in the uh, DMV right now today? The DMV shit, we lit. It's going up. Um, from the drill shit to the hipster shit to R&B, all that, I feel like the DMV on its way up. Um, I feel like a lot of people bite the DMV as far as, like, take take certain swag from us, but I think, I think it's, it's, it's on its way up. There's a lot of people right now making noise from the DMV. Yeah, and I see like a lot of different sounds coming out the DMV yeah, too. Yeah, hell right yeah, now. hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Uh, do you feel like there's a lot of unity amongst the artists in the DMV, or is it just everyone just kind of doing their own thing? Um, yes and no. You know, politics gonna make shit. You know, but I think with more people going up, it's gonna be more unity. You feel me? People gotta see it. Like, it hasn't been. It's not like out here, like where you got a whole bunch of you got future here, you got 21 here, you got this, that, and the third. You feel me? But I feel like once, once a couple more people start going up, like people like more take it a little more serious and be like, all right, let's put our pride to the side and, and fuck with each other. Yeah. Nah, I dig it, man. Yeah. Uh, what's the current label situation? You independent still? Yeah, I'm independent. Hell okay. yeah. Hell yeah. We independent. Are you interested in signing with a label down the road? or? When it makes sense, yeah. Hell yeah. The same way, like, I mean, I know I offer value with my talent, but I want to be able to offer value, like, on a monetary level to where it makes sense, where I'm not just signing just because I want a quick little advance. You feel me? I feel Like I said, I feel like I got a really good team to where it's going to make sense when we sign to a label. Absolutely, man. Yeah. And mm. talk about the grind that comes with being an independent artist right now. Shit, you just got to do everything, you know? Like, the same way. At the end of the day, a label is just a, a building full of people with connections and, and working towards one, like, project, you know? So I feel like if you, if you could replicate that, you, ha you have your own label. Of course, you can't get into the same, like, playlist or whatever the fuck, but other than that, you can make your own motion without the label, I feel like. You got the internet. Oh, it's just yeah. sweet right now. Yeah, there's so many blueprints of, you know, artists doing it independently that yeah. that's all you got to do is follow that blueprint. Nah, hell it? yeah. All right, so what's some goals you got set for your music career, whether it's short term or long term? Then? Um, goals to be a, a super 
Ticket Center artist. Had my own real like cult, not cult, but like real cult base. You know, not I wouldn't say that shit, but had my own real fan base, real Ticket Center fan base. Not just some internet shit, not just some club shit. Just to really be, have a real impact with my music. You know? yeah. I want to move people. What's more important for you, the fame, money, or just having fans? Fans. Yeah. Mm. What type of messages you be getting from your fans, huh? Messages? Mm. Different people, you want to get different messages, but shit, all types of shit. Uh, I, like, I like the messages the most from when I make like more emotional songs and people tell me like these stories and shit. I like, that. I like seeing that type of shit, yeah. But I got wild messages before, especially on that tour. Like, People was like, yeah, where you at? I'm trying to suck you up now, you feel me? <laughs> and I was like, shit, I'm right here, <laughs> you feel me? It's like, no, it's like, no, but yeah, 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 yeah. Do you fuck a groupie or no? Would I? Yeah. That sounds like a yes. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyone ever tell you you look like Lil Reese from Chicago, man? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've gotten that one before. Yeah. He tried, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got that before. Like a lot? Or? Yeah, hell yeah. Somebody, yeah, I, I got, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I look like him, though. No. You yeah. don't think you look like him? Nah, I think he looks, side side. I think he looks uh, East African, and I'm East African, so they probably, you know, yeah. <laughs> How you be dealing with like online trolls and haters like that? Do you get a lot of that, or? I don't get a lot of it, but I like it. I, I feel like when you get hate, I mean, I know my music good, so if somebody hating, they just hating. But fucking, um, you can't get all love because it's not lit enough. You got to get the hate. So that's how you know you're really going up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You be clapping back or you just ignore the shit? Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes I DM them back. Yeah, I got to get off my chest. <laughs> yeah. What type of shit you be saying back to them then? I don't know. I, I go on their page and try to make it real specific. You feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. Most of the like, trolls, they be commenting from fake pages anyway, man. They don't even sometimes, be having pics sometimes, on that shit. yeah, yeah. Sometimes, but sometimes somebody go on their own page, feel like, yeah, but, but not. Sometimes I say something back, hell yeah. yeah. But most times I ignore it though. Mm -hmm. You be keeping up with the uh, YSL trial right now? Uh, not too much. No, no, not not too much. Uh, free thug though. Yeah, 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 but I ain't, I'm not like, I, I don't like know too many details of what's going on. I think, I think he's going to get out though. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think we'll be locked up for a long time. Yeah, it's looking better for him, that's for sure. Yeah, I think, I think he will be straight. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of support to the situation. And they really holding him for no reason at this point. Yeah. 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 If it was somebody else, I feel like they'd have been let him out. Real shit. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like, uh, you know, with them playing his lyrics in court, man, what, what's your thoughts on like, you know, the courts using rappers' lyrics against them? I thought it was art, you know? It's supposed to be art, it's supposed to be freedom of speech. Like, this shit entertainment at the end of the day. Of course, like, people do put their real lives into it, but I don't feel like it should be, a, be able to be used in, in, a, in a court of law, you know? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, real shit, it's, yeah. it's just a form of expression. Yeah, hell yeah, day, yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm not gonna say niggas is actors, but it's like judging somebody on a movie they made and saying, oh, this was boom, 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 even though it's not the same thing, but shit. You don't know somebody could be talking about uh, their man's story or mm -hmm. something they heard of or something they dreamt about, you know? So they can't, they shouldn't be running with that. Not real shit. It just seems yeah. like rap is being targeted with this shit. Yeah, you don't hear this yeah. shit in other hell genres yeah. of music. If the police know? watching my shit, fake, 100%. <laughs> Cap. Yeah. Uh, what else you working on? What else coming up for you? Shit. More singles, more projects, we going up, you know? Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, you know, tours, all that shit. Okay. We doing everything. What's some advice you would share to like some of your younger fans and everything, man? Mm, advice I would share is be your own person. You know, follow your con follow your conscience. You feel me? Like niggas be too quick to follow the next man or follow whatever trend is going on, but you gotta follow how you feel. You know, you can't. You know. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really it. I want not I want not tell them too much, you know. Okay, yeah. Uh, go ahead and plug your social media so everyone know where to follow you. Social media, uh, X-A-R-O-C, 
with two underscores, and I got a new page, which is X-A-R-O-C with two zeros. I mean, that's a new page. That's going up right now. Why you got a new page? What happened? Uh, my first page, I kept getting shadow banned. I kept getting flagged. So then I, I made a new page, and my following was going up way faster. My, like, views, comments, everything's just been up. So, yeah, hell yeah. Do you know why they were shadow banning? Like, what type of posts were you getting taken down? Was it just your music? I'd be or? posting bullshit. Sometimes I might post weed, shrooms, whatever the fuck, and, and they'll, like, flag it. Sometimes there'll be some shit I wouldn't even think would get flagged. And, like, my, they might say, like, profanity, tobacco use, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And it was flagging me too much. So I felt like their page wasn't growing as fast. But this new page, I, I, I got, like, 5,000 followers, like, 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 fast, you feel me? So, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah. You gonna keep both pages, or if the new one passes the old I think, one? I think the new one gonna pass the old one, cause the old one was at uh, eleven thousand, okay. and then the new one was at five hundred, but now it's at five thousand, so oh, it's sure. moving way faster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout outs you want to give before you wrap it up here? Shit. Shout out to everybody that's with me. Shout out my team. Shout out my people. Um. Yeah. That's it for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody who think it's not going to happen. You know, I feel like in the next couple of months, it's going to be like a serious situation. Sure. I swear none of them niggas kidding me. I can't wait the day he bite the dust. Them niggas gringo ripen up. Only that drink will hype you up.